I promised him then that I would serve him the rest of my life if he did one thing for me. He did that thing for me. I had to slip out to go to church because where I was at, my family didn't believe in it. They use God's name all the time, but not the way that we use it, you know? And when I would ask to go to church, I would get a beating, and I was told I couldn't go. So I would sneak out on Sunday morning, and I would go to Sunday school because there was a little old lady there that asked me one day, would I like to go to Sunday school? I lived in torment most of my young life. I got beatings all the time. I lived in a place where I wasn't wanted, and I knew it. So I asked her how long would, it, would Sunday school last? And she said an hour. And I thought an hour of peace, an hour of knowing something that I had never known before was fantastic. Amen. So I slipped out Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. And Sunday after Sunday after Sunday when I got home, I got a beating. Now I'm not talking about a whipping. I'm talking about a beating. The one, I got beat with Bob Wire. I got beat with electrical wire. I got beat with sticks. I got beat with frying pans. Anything that happened to be going around at the time, I got beat with. I got beat with wrenches. I'm deaf today because of that. You know, but when this one time I was going home after church, I had stayed for church because that was two more hours of peace. So I went to Sunday school and church for three hours. And on the way home, they had told me, the preacher looked at me and told me that God loved me. I didn't know what love was. But he told me that God would protect me and everything that I'd done if I would serve him. So on the way home, I was talking to God, and I said, God, you know, they say that you love me. They say that you'll walk with me. They say that you will protect me. But God, I know what's fixing to happen when I get home. I'm fixing to have a beating. And Lord, I promise you this day, if I go home and I get a beating and it don't hurt, I'll serve you the rest of my life. <laughs> Little did I know that I was going to get beat by two men that was mending a barbed wire fence with a barbed wire. The whole time they were beating me, I laughed and I taunted them and asked them. I thought they were men, that they were supposed to hurt, and not nothing ever hurt me during that whole beating. I'm keeping my promise to God, and I have kept it all these years in the way that I know how to keep it best. And I thank God for his mercies, but not only for his mercies, but for his miracles that he has performed in me. Not one, not two, not three, but many. And there's a lot of people here that know about some of them, but some they don't. I drowned in the Mississippi River. I was left for dead on the banks. Two hours later, I got up and walked in the house. <laughs> I had appendicitis and my appendix busted in the middle of a main highway. And finally, a person came by and helped me across the street. They took me to the hospital and I had Dan Green. They said that I would never have any children. I have three beautiful daughters that are biological. And I have ten that's not. <laughs> so, but they're all 13 mine. You know, 
I beat cancer twice. And that's only because of God, not because of me. It's Him and Him only. I've had open heart surgery with five bypasses and given a chance to live one in 5,000. I praise God. I had five stents put in me. And they said that I probably wouldn't get around too good. But I get around bad. Yes, Lord. I've had a micro clip just in a very past few months. And I'm doing great. I have a heart valve that they that pig valve. They, it's not artificial, it's a live pig valve in my aortic valve. I have a pacemaker that keeps me going. I had a broken back, which was broken from L3 down, completely crushed, and they said I would never walk again, that I would be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. But I'm walking. And I got one other thing to say. I'm 90 years old. Yeah. I love 